I'm Yin. I'm Fiona. In this episode of Beauty and a Geek, we're going to review sunscreen. Yay! I'm super excited for this one. So remember to subscribe and... Hit the bell button. We'll okay. see you very soon. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Back after a few months. I know. How was your circuit breaker? <laughs> circuit breaker was so long. It was so long ago. No, it's phase two, okay. I know. So I mean, you clearly haven't seen us since, right? Yeah. So what have you been sort of doing? It's a lot of working from home. Okay. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think during um, the phase of working from home, yeah. Uh, this particular episode stood out to be even more important I know, right? <laughs> because we are staring into the screen yes. 24-7. Yes. Yeah, so it's, a, it's quite a timely, you know, uh, episode for everyone. Yeah. It is. And both of us have been quite obsessed with the idea of sunscreen for a very long time. And mm. we've actually gotten a couple of requests uh, from you guys as well as from friends as well. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. So when we were conceptualizing and we were thinking, how do we go about doing it? Um, and you were saying it's kind of difficult, right? Because yes. we are not scientists and then, yeah. you know, there's... We don't have the parameters to, yeah. to kind of like test the sunscreen mm. scientifically. Uh, so we really asked ourselves, you know, what is the best way to, you know, recommend the best products. Yeah, yeah, so we decided, you know, we're going to go with, uh, obviously, a very first-hand experience of trying the products for a while. Mm. Um, and also, secondly, is to essentially look into YouTube and look at what are the dermatologists um, on YouTube, what do they recommend? Yep. So, based on some of their recommendations, we put together um, the sunscreens uh, in two categories, uh, chemicals as well as minerals. Mineral. And uh, we essentially went about testing them and that's what we're going to do today to share with you some of our findings uh, mm. what we like and what we don't like and before we go into the sunscreen uh, we're just going to kind of like do a quick rundown of what mm. exactly is mineral and chemical sunscreen so it gives you a better overview of which type of sunscreen suits your skin okay so the first one is actually chemical sunscreen so chemical sunscreen it gets absorbed into your skin and mm. then it actually works by sort of like uh, absorbing the UV rays and turning them into uh, heat energy. Okay. Yeah, so that sort of like uh, helps the skin to actually protect from UVA and UVB. But having said that, uh, actually does more protection for UVB. So it doesn't mm. protect all the UVA for mm. chemical sunscreen. Okay. Uh, and also one thing about chemical sunscreen is that you need to apply 15 minutes to 20 minutes before under uh, sun exposure. Yeah. So one of the telltale sign or not telltale sign, the way to tell whether this this particular sunscreen is chemical or mineral is looking at the application direction. Okay. So if it says that, oh, you need 15 minutes before going under the sun, then probably it's going to be chemical sunscreen. Okay. Yeah, so that is a very good indication. Um, but one of the little disadvantages is that probably it tends to clog the pores a little bit. Mm. So the removing part, probably you need an oil cleanser okay. uh, to really double cleanse. Otherwise, I would not recommend for acne prone skin. Okay. Mm, so that is for chemical. Well done! Mm. Can I just say that between the two of us, you can tell he's the A student that just came up so naturally. Uh, so here's my turn to share with you a little bit more about um, the mineral sunscreen. And clearly, I don't have it right on top of my head. So I'm just gonna, you know, read from the notes sure. that I have over here. Okay, so for mineral sunscreen, mm. what's interesting about this that clearly is a main difference from chemical is mm. that Yen just mentioned that chemical, it absorbs right into your skin. But for mineral, it sits on top of your skin so you almost imagine it like a shield that you have on your face. So when the sun shines on your, t on your face, uh, it deflects the light. Mm -hmm. So um, what it essentially does is that it blocks away most of the UVBs as well as um, UVAs. Um, instead of waiting 15-20 minutes like um, chemical sunscreen, mm -hmm. for this one, yep. it works almost immediately because it's a topical kind of... I'm, I won't say a topical application, but it sits on top of your skin. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Um, so the only thing about it is that because um, perhaps it's the formulation, uh, so you tend to have a bit of a white cast uh, yeah. on your face when you apply it. So I suppose for gentlemen, if you don't put on makeup and you don't have foundation and everything, um, having that white cast may not be something that you want. Mm. So that's the main difference between chemical as well as mineral sunscreen. Yes. Cannot. Pass not. Pass. Thank you. 100 marks. <laughs> Thank you. As you can see, we have all the sunscreen in front of us. Ta-da! Okay, uh, so we're going to start with the sunscreen that are recommended by the dermatologists on YouTube. So mm -hmm. we kind of like shortlisted 
four sunscreen. Uh, later we're going to tell you which are the four. Uh, so let's start with the first one, shall yes. we? Okay, so the first one is actually Avene. Okay, oh my god, it's all French. Okay, I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm going to try to pronounce um, this sunscreen. It's called Cream Mineral. Uh, mm. Very high protection. Mm. SPF 50 UVA UVB sunscreen. So this is a thin third sunscreen. So, okay. Um, who shall start with this? We have to keep it short and sweet, okay? Because we find that all our episodes have been very long. Okay, so this one, I, 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 I'll start with it. Okay. So she bought it. Uh, mm. So she, she tried first and she passed it to me. Yeah. Um, after I tried for the first time, I called her and said, hey, this is not for me. <laughs> yeah. And, and then my people was, oh my god, same, also not for me. Yeah, I, I guess yeah. for me, tinted sunscreen is something that I find very challenging. Yeah. Um, so uh, to me, one, the first thing is that the white cast is too strong for me. Uh, a little bit too oily. Uh, these are two things that probably uh, didn't suit my skin. So I, I, for me as a guy, oily skin, I'll give it a miss. Yeah. Mm. Mm. For me, this. So I just applied it very quickly for you guys to see, right? Mm. Um, so yeah, it has obvious. a white cast. Um, yeah, in that sense. And you know the thing about this is that because I use foundation, right? So what it happens is I find that when I use the sunscreen. I look great. Like in general, yes. I look great. Yes. I think that's a, that's a key thing. I, yeah. I don't look like a white cast, but here it's like a white mm. cast, but I don't know. I just look great. So I find the color formulation is not for Asian skin. Yeah. So probably with Asian skin, we have a little bit of a yellow undertone. Yep. This actually forms a gray color. So I realized that probably it sits better on Western um, Caucasian mm. skin, where mm. it's a little bit more radish. Yeah, perhaps. So probably they will look radiant, but yeah. we don't look radiant with this. Yeah, so for me, I'm probably going to give that a miss. And this mm. was actually recommended by one of the dermatologists on YouTube. on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So that brings us actually to the next, next product. One. Yeah. Uh, this one, we have high hopes for super group. Yeah. Okay, so this is super yeah, group. Yeah, fans, by yeah, the way. Yeah, we love super yeah. group. We have been using their sunscreen. Mm. But later, we're going to talk about another sunscreen mm. from them. So this is Zinc Screen, 100% mineral lotion. Uh, SPF 40 so this is a broad spectrum sunscreen once again um, this is a tinted sunscreen actually I didn't know it's tinted when I bought it so I'm the, I, uh, I bought it I tried and passed it to Fiona uh, very similar in terms of the kind of white cast that you will get but yeah. less intense than the Avene um, do I love it once again it's a tinted sunscreen uh, <clears throat> the white cast is not for me uh, so I don't like it uh, yeah, it's slightly better than the Avian line. I think yeah. the white cast is not as serious, yes. but I don't like the texture once again. It's a little bit too oily for my skin as well. So uh, for guys with oily skin, probably I also give this a miss. Yeah, for me, the issue that I have with this one, it's, it's oily. So mm. that's the same thing for me as well. It's like, you know how we layer our skincare, right? Yes. And then, you know, everything just... Okay, the, the thing with this is, with skincare, your skin glows, ah. Uh, at the very final step. And you know how they say that your first step of makeup or your last step of your skincare is actually your, your, your sunscreen, right? For me, this one immediately draws out all the <clears throat> all the brightness that I was trying to achieve with my skincare prior. Mm. And then it just has a layer of oil that sits on my skin. Mm. So, mm, yeah. I, I wanted to love this, but no, it's not my go-to in the super goop category. Yeah. So I will uh, we'll talk about the, the other stuff that we like. So for mm. me, it's a no-go. But probably yeah. if you are a fan of tinted sunscreen, I think this definitely works better than this for me. Yeah. Like this one, you see her hand, her white glasses. Yeah. Oh my god, it's This crazy, is a right? Chinese opera. At least this looks a yeah. little bit more natural. I yeah. feel this one, if probably people with very oily skin, it, it works well. Uh, sorry, people with very dry skin, it works very well. Yeah, so I was about to say, I think if you have drier skin and you've always uh, wanted to find a, 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 a sunscreen that works for you, perhaps this too uh, would be something you'll be looking for. Combination skin? No. Oily skin? I don't think it works. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so next, let's go into Medicube. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so this is recommended by a Taiwanese dermatologist mm -hmm. on YouTube. Um, I've been using Medicube products for a while. I'm very good with products uh, for oily skin, mm -hmm. sensitive skin, mm -hmm. uh, which I think a lot of guys have oily and sensitive skin. Yes. Uh, probably you also don't know whether you have sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. So for me, I didn't know 
until recently, I found actually mm. my, my skin starts to react um, to some okay. ingredient. So this Medicube uh, Red Capsule Sunscreen, I'm using the Red uh, Erasing Cream, which is the same range that mm. remove redness, calm the skin. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favourite sunscreen in this lot. Okay, I think one of the key reasons is really, first of all, I think the texture is really light, mm -hmm. which I really appreciate, and the ease of application. And I think that uh, it is light, a bit gel-based, uh, but it is there's no sheen or there's it doesn't feel See, oily. We use we use until, we finish everything. Yeah, yeah, we're almost like done with this. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so it's a little bit uh gel base um, and I like it because Singapore is really oh this few days is crazy. Yeah. So know, this right? works really well, and it, you know once you apply emulsify a little bit into a bit of water. Which I find it is quite refreshing. So for mm. me, this is uh, oily skin, sensitive skin, even for dry skin, right? I feel it's also fine. So to me, this is a hit, lah. Like, mm. Yeah. For me, I first of all, I am quite intrigued with the whole packaging, mm. um, because it's it's so small, so it's very easy to carry around, and it's like really cute. It has this like you know like tube like thing. Mm. Um. So what I like about this is the lightness in terms of its texture. So what it means for me is, um, if you're kiasu like me, meaning that you know what kiasu means, um, you would want to, I mean, I, I tend to do reapplication immediately after the first layer that I've put on. Mm. So you imagine, right, for like chemical sunscreen, we said earlier, you need 15 minutes. So I put it on, I wait like, you know, 10 minutes, and then I'll put on another layer again. Um, mineral, clearly you don't have that, that to wait that long. So... Because it absorbs so quickly and it's so light, I find myself going back to this to apply a second layer, uh, mainly on the um the, the cheek bones, yeah, and then on my nose, which are the areas that you get the sun exposure the most. Mm -hmm. Um, so I get to do that, and because it's lightweight enough, I can layer it um a little bit more. So usually I do about two layers with uh Medicube. Mm -hmm. Um, with foundation, with like you know makeup, it doesn't change the color. Um, it con I don't know I I, I can't say it controls all, but because it's lightweight right so it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin mm. so for me this has been quite a surprise I, I will say um, so yeah this would be something that I'll be keeping for a while okay okay the fourth product is actually La Roche Posay mm. uh, oh my god there's another word that I can't pronounce and Antilios <laughs> anyway uh, the, the, the series I hope uh, the range is called Antilios I yes. hope I pronounced it correctly it's 50 SPF plus a PA plus 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 UVA UVB antioxidant, very high protection. It's the ultra protection, ultra resistant, uh, invisible fluid. Told you he's an A student. There we go. <laughs> I'm just reading off from the bottle. <laughs> uh, so actually, before we did our research mm. on YouTube, finding which dermatologists mm. are recommending what product, we have been using this for a while. Oh, forever. Yeah, yeah, this probably I would say. It's the most, the lightest in terms of texture. It's almost water. Yeah, so if you were to, uh, I mean... Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, it's almost like water dripping out. Yeah. Uh, so this is the lightest. Uh, I would say it's the easiest to apply. Uh, if your skin is extremely oily and you want something extremely light, uh, this is the best uh, out of the lot here, I would mm. say. Mm. Uh, I love this product because uh, it's very, very light on the skin. Uh, I would also say that this product probably to me... Uh, works the best for me uh, mm. because I, I will apply my moisturizer, my serum, yeah. um, and then my sunscreen. Mm. So after so many layers of, layers of skincare, right, I think this is the one that doesn't weigh everything down. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's a good point. So once yeah. again, this is one of my favorite sunscreen among uh, all this here. Yeah. Mm. So for me, this, um, it's a little bit of a magic um, in that sense every morning because when I wake up in the morning and then when I reach this stage, it's where I... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you feel like a little bartender going on with your concoction But really, this is um, one of my favourite mm. Because um, it's super lightweight mm. And although this is actually recommended for um, you If you're planning to go outdoors I actually don't go outdoors very often I use this for indoors mm. um, So it, if I'm not wrong uh, um, It also helps to um, sort of block out your blue light filters as well Yeah, oh, this Now one. blue light is a buzzword Yes, you know? yes So for me, it, it's, it's, it has been my go-to Whatever he has said, you know, it's all tick, 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 tick for mm. me And again, very importantly It doesn't make your makeup 
look any different. Mm. Yeah, and it doesn't give you like a weird white cast. Yeah. And it has 50 plus. So I'm like, I'm not complaining. Yes. So this has been my go-to and probably one of my favorites. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so those are the four sunscreen recommended mm. by dermatologists yes. on YouTube. But before that, I mean, uh, we, have, we, we kind of also want to recommend things that we have been using. Uh, or new products that we've discovered. Yes. So uh, maybe we'll start with this one. Um, we, we did mention about um, the super group zinc sunscreen that we didn't like. Yeah. But... We have high hopes for super good because of this particular sunscreen. Uh, it's called the Smooth and Poreless. Uh, it's hundred percent mineral matte screen SPF forty broad spectrum sunscreen. Mm. You know this particular product, right? I, know. I think we found this product in two thousand and nineteen. Uh. I think so. I give you product. Tubes? How many tubes have you gone through? This for my this one? Same. I still have one extra one. Same. Yeah, so I stock up a lot because. <laughs> Like, uh, whenever Sephora, there's yeah. discount, yeah. But anyway... Hi, Sephora! <laughs> yeah, so this is a sunscreen that I would say is the fine for 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Okay, a few things. Maybe we talk about what, what we like about mm. the sunscreen. I mm. think this is a tinted sunscreen, mm. which I always fear tinted sunscreen because the colour and everything, but this colour is spot on. Yeah. Regardless of your skin tone. Yes. Unless you are super dark, or super fair, but you're super fair, so it still works for you, right? Yeah, it works. Yeah, so yeah. this particular sunscreen, it's a little bit on the pasty side. The texture is a bit paste like. Uh, so initially, I was like, oh my god, is this gonna be really heavy? But I can tell you when they say it's 100% mineral matte screen, right? Your face is matte until you cannot. Yeah, it's 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 really matte. Yeah, you know, yeah. my skin is so oily uh, to a point that oil will seep into my eyes and it will get painful midday, right? This particular sunscreen, the whole face throughout the whole day is mattified. Mm. That's number one. Mm. The second thing is that it's uh it's tinted, mm. so it slightly cover a little bit of that flaws, not the the deep yeah. scars or deep uh pigmentation whatsoever. Yeah. But it kind of like color corrects really nicely. Mm. So to me, this is a two in one. I mean, this is like my go to for gym in the morning because mm. you you want to look like you have something, but yeah. you know you're not gonna do a full face early in the morning for like a seven a.m. class. Not yeah. that I go for seven a.m. class in the morning for gym, but you get the point. Yeah, yeah, so this one, I've gone through four tubes, like we said, we stock up all the time. Um, mm. It's it's probably one of my favourite together with the other ones that I just mentioned. So yeah, super good. Um, well done on this one. Mm. Yeah, well done. So this one, I think we just recommended um, this other variant earlier. It's also from the same brand. Le Help Roche. me pronounce again. La Roche Posay. I don't know whether I pronounced it correctly. But I think that should be it. Lah. So this particular one over here has been my go-to during this whole um, circuit breaker and phase two period. Um, but we're also st staring at the screen for, you know, what it feels like 24 7 these days um this particular one over here actually has got the blue light filter as well mm. so i think it's perfect for uh, most of us who are staring at our phones looking at our phones and staring at our computer screens um and what i like about this is that so it comes out white like most mm. and then when you apply it very quickly it gets absorbed and it has a very very beautiful shine Mm. Right, like a beautiful glow. So it helps to sort of brighten up your face, uh, gives you that protection. It's SPF uh, 50 plus plus as well. So it brightens up and it has blue, blue light filter. It's very, very lightweight, just like the other variant that we just talked about earlier. And in fact, between this two, this was actually, uh, this is actually recommended for outdoor. This one is actually recommended if you are indoors. Yeah, so therefore you have the blue light filter um, added uh, sort of benefits over there. So this has been my go-to and this is actually my third tube. Wow, okay. Yeah. So there's one more that I've been using for the longest time. Yeah. Like super long time. Yeah. It's actually um, Anasa. It's the whitening UV sunscreen gel, okay? Uh, probably one of the lighter ones here, but not the lightest. Uh, what I love about this, uh, once again, I always trust Japanese yeah. when it comes to sunscreen mm. uh, and uh, NSA is under Shiseido so mm. uh, it's extremely reliable uh, on top of this it has the patented ingredient from Shiseido oh I didn't know that yeah so which oh. is uh, a whitening ingredient Ooh. yeah so if you're into whitening you want your skin to be fair uh, this is something that you can look out for uh, the other thing is that I find that this is probably the sunscreen that I've tried 
that gives the most dewy finish. Ah, mm. um, there is this new one that I just tried recently. So it's a Korean brand. Wow, I actually got something <laughs> Korean brand to recommend it. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so this one is actually from this brand called uh, Purito. And uh, I think this would be great if you are someone with sensitive skin. Mm. Uh, reason being, it has this particular ingredient in there. And I hope I pronounce it correctly. It's called Centella. Centella. Yeah, yes. so I think it's a plant uh, mm. that helps to calm, uh, you know, sensitive skin. Uh, this one comes with SPF uh, 50, 50 plus plus and PA plus 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 plus. Um, what is interesting about this is that first up, uh, besides it being unscented, it's actually it actually feels like water based. Mm, um, it's quite light. It, it's it's really light. Yeah. I've got a lot of sunscreen you could do. Really, <laughs> yeah. It, it, oh, oh my god, it's super light. It just absorbs. Yeah. Quickly into your skin. I tried this a few times. I kind of mm. like it as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't tell you whether it works at this point because, like we said, right, it, it's kind of difficult to tell you whether it works or not, but mm. we can only share with you based on our experience on, on, like, you know, trying it. So you have to choose one, <sighs> only one that you will you will buy again. Like my holy grail, like yeah. the go to. Yeah. Okay, like this one for me is. <sighs> okay, can I choose two? Okay, I can choose two. Okay, I choose two. This would be my two go-to. Okay. Okay, so this would be my go-to. Mm. What about you? I also choose this la. I have to say this is a clear winner la. Uh, this, yeah. this is indeed a clear winner. Mm. I love this. I also choose this. I actually, I will choose this too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, this too. Mm, yeah. This so, too, right? frankly speaking, if you have not been using sunscreen and you really want to try something or, you know, your current sunscreen you feel is not working for you, mm. uh, I'll say this is an easy, a low barrel sunscreen where you don't feel like, oh my god, my skin is caught whatsoever. It feels very, very light. Mm. Yeah, so this is something that I, I will recommend as mm. well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So that's it from us today. Yes. Our sunscreen episode, which all of you have been asking for. <laughs> so there we go. So we really hope that uh, you enjoy what we have recommended yes. and really try something on your own and, you know, get a sensing of whether this products work for you. Mm. And if you have any go-to sunscreen, please drop your comments um, below as well. We'll, we'll love to try what are your go-to as well. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So that's it for this episode. And we will see you next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.